This lucid dream also happened last week. I think it just began as a random false awakening at my mom's house. So I, I woke up in my room at my mom's house, but in a dream. And I went downstairs and I was gonna leave through the backyard like I often do when I have a lucid dream in my mom's house. Um, but before I even got to the backyard, when I was just in the TV room area, the dreamscape around me was, you know, getting real wavy and shaky and stuff, and I was trying to stabilize it, but I fucked up. And so I had another false awakening back at the same place in my room at my mom's house. And so this time I left through the front door. So I went through the front door and I flew up onto the roof. And a bunch of random dudes started like trying to pick a fight with me like on my own damn roof. So yeah, I got up onto the roof and at this point I was still um, having trouble solidifying the dream. So as it was, I was already kind of about to, you know, lose control of the dream, have another false awakening. When these guys just started randomly jumping me, trying to pick a fight. Yeah, so instead of focusing and trying to stabilize the dream first, I decided to instead let the dream kind of... I let the dream continue in third person. Um, and so I was kind of like I was seeing myself, but as if I was not in my body. Uh, but I could still control what I was doing. Like, I could tell myself, attack that guy. Okay, now this guy's gonna attack you, so go get this guy. And so, yeah, like, I was fighting all these dudes in third person. It was really, it was an interesting experience. I'd never done that before. But yeah, after I beat up all them bitches, uh, I had another false, well, um, I kind of had a false awakening on purpose because I wanted to get back into first person. So instead of just looking at my own character, as it were, and imagining where I want him to go and having him go there. I kind of kind of shook myself out of it, got back into first person, but at this point, uh, I kind of woke up in my bed again. So yeah, it was another false awakening. Anyways, I flew out through the front again, and I was flying around. Oh no, I wasn't flying around. I was jumping houses, uh, because at this point, there were actually several houses around, um, and very close to each other, so I could easily jump from one to the other. And I eventually got to a really big house that it seemed like a slightly small mansion. Like it seemed like the proportions of a mansion, but it was a lot smaller than one. And then I flew to the ground, uh, landed pretty softly, not too hard, uh, so that I wouldn't freak myself out and have another false awakening. And then yeah, I got to the ground and I went to the entrance of this small mansion and the door was like half the size of me. And I'm really short, as it is. So yeah, I guess it was like a mansion for elves. So yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna squeeze down in there. So um, I flew to my right. And then I was having point of view problems again, where it kind of went back into third person. Uh, but I was able to get back into first person without having a false awakening this time. Like I kind of just shook myself out of it. But instead of having a false awakening, like the point of view like kind of circled around my third person character until it got until I got into my body again and so now I was back in first person but still in the same place um in the sky I think I was in the sky at this point but yeah so then I flew to my left and there was like a landing pad like a landing pad for a helicopter and so I went to land there but I didn't try to soften my landing I just kind of flew down fast and landed pretty hard and that kind of made the dream like freak out and so the ground started coming apart and the concrete kind of started lifting up and you know flying away but I think I was able to put it back I'm not sure hold on yeah I think I was able to put the ground back onto you know the ground um, because like all these pieces of concrete and earth were like flying away but I was able to put the pieces back but I think at that point I woke up anyways, so. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, that's all, so peace out.